So it's the I'm from Bryce toner. Up my back, and then I go back and like pat it in. It's separated. It's like a little on the oily side, like it's still very, very lightweight. This week's video is going to be another um, Korean toner review. I did a video about the, um, it was, it's claimed to be Korea's number one toner. It's the Inua Heartleaf Toner. I posted that about a couple of months ago now. Unfortunately, that did not agree with my skin. Um, it made me super, super sensitive and basically it was just not a nice situation. But I was determined, I was determined to find another toner that I liked. So I was looking into um, other Korean toners that were better for sensitive skin. Even though the newer Heartleaf toner was meant to be like the most perfect one for sensitive skin and oily skin, just didn't work out that way. Um, and I came across this little baby. This is the um, rice toner from by I'm From. So it's the I'm From Rice Toner. It's a milk toner, as you can see. It's like a milky substance. You can see how much I've used. And you have to shake it up to activate it. Not activate it, but like mix it together because it sort of separates. Um, you may be thinking, why did you get such a tiny, tiny bottle? I shall tell you why. Because the Inua toner was completely wasted. I got a full size bottle and it is still sat in my cupboard and I just feel like it is such a waste. So when I saw that they did the um, like a mini version of this of the milk toner, I did think like if I like it, that's going to be annoying because I like money wise, it makes more sense to get the big one. But I didn't want to risk it. I was like, I don't want to waste another thing and just have another thing sat in my cupboard if I don't like it. So I got the mini version. So let me read from the website what this claims to do and what it says. Okay, I didn't actually see this word before I bought it, but I've just seen. Where's this from? This is the details of it. A softening and bright brightening facial serum. Bright, smooth skin starts with the I am from rice serum. I don't know why they call it a serum because it is a toner, but um, this gentle, fast absorbing serum is enriched with embryo bud of rice, which helps to transform and um, which helps to quickly transform and brighten skin, leaving it soft, silky soft, plus niamicide to keep the skin bright and clear. Oh yeah, and then it says type toner. So it's a toner, but they refer to it as a serum, which is a bit confusing. Um, it has amazing reviews online. Um, and it is also one of the, like if you type in rice toner, if you type in rice toner, guaranteed this one will come up. It isn't specifically made for people with oily skin. I will say that. I do have oily skin, so I just sort of took a risk with it um, because I know that it's a serum, so it's water-based. Well, I know it's like milk and water, but I thought, how bad can it clog my pores, really? You know, like, I took a risk with it, and this is what I thought. I'll post a few um, videos here about me using it and, like, my first impressions and stuff. Right, so I'm going to use the I Am From Rice Toner. Uh, spoiler alert, I've actually used this two times already, but I didn't record it. Um, I've already showed you, but this is what it looks like. It's literally if you put milk inside a bottle. And I've noticed a couple of things already. But first off, let's put it on. So I... The opening is like... Can you see that? I don't know. It's like a... Like it doesn't slush out, so you have to go like that. And, I don't know, you can't really see that. It's probably like the size of like a 10 pence piece in my hand, or... I don't know, the coins in Australia. 10p, Google it. So I rub it in my hands, and then I rub it over my face. And up my back. And then I go back and like pat it in. Now with the Inua toner, you could 100% like not realise it was toner basically. It could be water. But with this one, there's a bit more of a residue. So you actually feel like you are putting something on your face and like you can see it on your face in the mirror. And yeah, it's like a little bit of an oily residue if I'm honest. But yeah, like you can you can sort of feel it. You can definitely feel it on your face. Like it feels like an oily residue, but like a really, really light layer. So it's not like bothering, it doesn't bother at all. And then after I 
put this on i usually just wait for like a minute or so and then i carry on with like my normal nighttime routine i am only using this in the night time for the moment um because i think i went too fast too quick with the annual i went in like two times a day and i ended up like my skin ended oh, my skin ended up being irritated from it um but what i will say is this is the third time that i have used it by this time with the annua toner i was already having like a bit of like stinging about around my nose and like around my mouth where i usually get my sensitive skin from perioral dermatitis so in that aspect so far so good also when you wake up in the morning you don't realize that you've got an extra layer of product on your face like i'm just like the normal amount of oily that i like was before i was using this so the really thin oily layer is completely like not noticeable basically it also has no scent in case anyone's wondering because it was like one of the first things i did when i opened it i just assumed it would have a scent nothing nothing um which is good which is what we want so yeah i leave it for a couple of minutes and then i'll carry on with my rest of my skincare and i will check back in maybe in like a week i'll check in like after using it for a whole week and then we can go from there um this isn't like a proper check-in but i just noticed something when i was like just tidy in my room so i just want to show you this and this is makes sense because they do say you have to shake the toner before you use it and this is why because i've noticed something so i shall show you i'm really trying not to sh shake it so it doesn't mix all together and sorry about the noise in the background but this is why i guess it's separated i am not entirely sure what like ingredients are in it that would have separated but obviously you can see that like this bit is like super milky and then the rest sort of looks like water and then you can sort of see it i don't know if you can see on camera but it's sort of like when glitter mixes in and then you mix it and it goes back to milk i thought that was just quite interesting so i have been using the toner for about a month a month now i've been using it once a day in the evenings for a month i use it as soon as i get out of the shower and then i then put my niamicide um serum on top and then i put my um fix it mis uh, moisturizer over the top and i'm so happy to confirm guys i love it I absolutely love it my every time i wake up and wash my face in the morning now my skin is so soft so the silky soft review whoever wrote that is completely accurate um i guess i wouldn't really notice the benefits of the niamicide in it because i already have niamicide in my skincare um but yeah i can say that it hasn't like clogged my pores i will say if it's like a little on the oily side like it's still very very lightweight but if like i was comparing it to the annua toner that was like 100 percent water base when it absorbed into your skin you wouldn't be able to feel it at all but when this absorbs into your skin you can still feel it a little bit because it's a little bit oily um but it's not like it's not like putting an oil on your face like i just want to emphasize it's not intense at all um i don't think it's broken me out I like don't basically like I've had blackheads and stuff and I've had break like not really breakouts but like the you know the odd spot here and there but it hasn't been a dramatic um like increase in them since I started using the toner so I don't think it's anything to do with the toner I think it is just my skin naturally like if I forget to, to do my face mask like for a few weeks like I will break out until I do my face mask and like clear my pores again and the same with like nose strips like if i have if i haven't used a nose strip in ages like my, i'll be able to see like blackheads on my nose and i'll be like oh damn like i need to do a strip and then i do a strip and it sort of like gets rid of them i know some people hate strips but honestly i swear by them like they're the sort of like only exfoliant i use um so yeah i would say it hasn't broken me out it has 100 percent made my skin so much softer do i think it's improved my skin potentially potentially i don't think i've had many breakouts at all definitely not clusters of breakouts when i looked back at photos of what my skin was like a year ago it was so red it was inflamed it was like anything i put on it just irritated it 
Um, now, don't get me wrong, before I started using this toner, my skin was better already. Um, but I just feel like the number one thing it's doing is strengthening my skin barrier because it is so hydrating. You can feel how hydrating it is the next morning when you wash it off and it, like when you wash your face and it's super smooth. So I feel like it's contributing to keeping my skin um, healthy and keeping my skin barrier strong, which is in turn making me have nicer skin and like smoother skin. Um, I also feel very plump the next morning when I'm washing it off. Sorry, washing my skin. You don't wash it off, it just absorbs straight in. But my skin always feels like super plump. Um, like I don't have any foundation on now. I don't know if you can see very well because this camera, like, I think it blurs things out. Oh, the sun's coming out again, that's great. Um, and I also picked my forehead this morning so I know it's a bit red. Um, but I am happy with my skin at the moment. Touch wood, let's please not change that. But yeah, all in all, I love it. It's honestly lasted me for such a long time as well. So this is actually foam. I would say I've used about half of this bottle. All of this is actually empty. That's just foam from me shaking it up. And I've been using it for a month. So yeah, that's great. I would really recommend getting the mini version. I think I got it from a store called Nudie and it's like a Korean skincare store. Um, because you know, it's just better. You don't have to waste. It is cheaper, obviously. Economies of scale wise, it makes more sense if you are going to use the entire product to get the big one, but you just don't know how your skin's going to react, so I would recommend getting the little one. Um, but yeah, I love it. I have incorporated it into my skin routine and it is staying. Um, let me know if you've ever tried it. Um, let me know if you've tried the newer one as well and what you feel, think, because I think this one is so much better, well, obviously because, like, because it's worked for me. I have sensitive skin, so I'm very intrigued to see if anyone else with sensitive skin has actually got on with the Anua toner or has switched to like a milk toner, which is much more calming. Um, but yeah, hope you've enjoyed, hope this has been helpful. I very thoroughly enjoyed doing this review because now I've found a new skincare product and I love it when that happens. Thank you for watching and I will see you in next week's video. Bye. So bright.